Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring trinomials when a is greater than 1. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, 3p squared minus 2p minus 5, and we want to factor this completely. I first look at my negative 5. I take that negative 5 and say, okay, what two numbers will multiply to be negative 5? We have, well, a positive 1 and a negative 5, and a negative 1 and a positive 5. Those two numbers, when they multiply, will equal a negative 5. When I see the a value here now being 3, its prime number, I know I have to have it in this form, 3p times some p times. And there's going to be a plus or minus some number here and plus or minus some number here, and that's going to be some combination of the two numbers that multiply to be my c value, negative 5. So now I'm going about this thinking, okay, when I multiply this out, what two numbers, right, multiply, or what number 3 times one of these numbers gets me close to negative 2? Well, if I multiply 3 here by 5, I'm nowhere near negative 2. I'm at 15, so I'm not going to explore that first. Uh, 3 times a 1. Well, if I put a 1 here, we know if we FOIL it, 3p times 1 gives me 3p. Then, if we take p times its pair, so negative 5 and minus 5 here, so 3p times 1 is 3p, negative 5 times p, right, negative 5 times p uh, gives you negative 5p, we add that together, gives us the negative 2, and that's kind of the goal there. So we try to think 3 times one of these numbers plus the other number, gets me negative 2, and that's going to be 3p minus 5, and multiply that by p plus 1. I hope you learned something here on how to factor a trinomial. If you did, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com